Like, uh, we need rain, right? Uh, we need a lot of rain, uh, slow and steady. You know, I was thinking about this, uh, like a 24 hours in a row of rain where we see like a tenth of an inch each hour. It, maybe not even that, like maybe five one hundred. So it all adds up nice and slow and it can all soak into the ground. That's what we need. Is that going to happen? Probably not. I mean, that's that's asking a lot of Mother Nature. But this is, let me let me get myself out of the middle of, there we go, that's better. This is what it looks like is going to happen. We're going to see uh, a chance for some precipitation move in a couple of different waves. This is a uh, very early Monday morning. Uh, I'll be walking my daughter to school at uh, 8.30 a.m., is that right? Yeah, about that time, it's been, it's been a summer. Um, and so we could see some rain uh, by that time uh, between Lincoln and Omaha and, and up towards western Illinois. That kind of tries to linger a little bit, some scattered showers on and off throughout uh, the first half of the day on Monday. Then we kind of dry out but keep the clouds, spot shower possible as we head through the early evening hours. And then it just kind of expands. There's a frontal boundary right along Interstate 80. And that's going to give us a chance for some storms and, and some much needed rain from Omaha, Lincoln, west towards Hastings and then down below where I'm at right down in here. Um, that's down towards McCook. So some light rain showers and then it kind of pushes off to the east, tries to hang on for a little while uh, through a very late Monday night into early Tuesday morning and then moves on out. So how much precipitation? Well, that first wave uh, early Monday might give us uh, five one hundredths, tenth of an inch, maybe a quarter of an inch if we're lucky. And then the second wave, depends on where this line, that line along Interstate 80 sets up, looks like the heaviest wants to be from a, just, just north of, around York East towards Omaha, just north of Interstate 80 until you get towards Omaha. Um, this is a model and models are never right. They just kind of give us an idea and it looks like, uh, but it, it's saying that there's going to be some heavy rain somewhere, likely with some embedded thunderstorms. So it depends on where those things set up as to who gets the most rain. So right now it's saying over an inch in Wahoo. Move it north a little bit and Fremont gets it all. You move it south, Lincoln gets it all. Uh, move it a little further east where the heavier precipitation starts and between Omaha and Nebraska City. So you see what I'm saying. It could be just about anywhere, but this is one model saying it looks like there's going to be a line of storms setting up uh, late Monday night into Tuesday morning. Temperature-wise, uh, tonight, Monday night, in the 60s, 67, a, sh a shower possible, maybe an isolated thunderstorm, increasing the clouds. Uh, temperatures tomorrow, tolerable, middle 80s, some 90s further south and west where there's more sunshine, uh, southeast wind at 10 to 20. Um, but on and off, showers and thunderstorms going to be possible. Won't amount to much, I don't think, the first half of the day, but overnight Monday into Tuesday, that's when the storms are likely, and temperature is much cooler on Tuesday, 78 degrees, uh, and then 80s just about every day after that. Then we'll see storms possible again on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. <sighs> I hope it rains. I really do. I really, really do. I hope it rains. Bye, everybody.